What is up everyone? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, we are going over fall trends, do's and don'ts you need to know for 2024, okay? Am I talking about fall trends in a tank top? Yes. Yes, I am, okay? I'm not ready for the summer to go, okay? No. I'm just joking. I absolutely love fall, and I love fall because my favorite holiday is coming up, which is Halloween, but summer just is my heart, okay? I love Chicago summer. I just love the summer. I'm a summer baby. My birthday's in the summer. I'm just sad to see it go so quickly, okay? But it's okay because fall is coming up, and I do like fall, and I need to let you guys know what is in and what is not because I do not want to see some of this stuff, okay? And some stuff I do wanna see, okay? So I'm gonna help you get it together because I heard you need a little help and I'm helping you get it together. So come on, girl. Before we even get into the do's and don'ts, let me just say this disclaimer, okay? This is my opinion. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? You looked at this video because you wanted help and I'ma help you, okay? So be nice. Anyway, let's start with the dudes. So the first dude that I absolutely love when girls do in the fall, like this is a huge fall trend and I absolutely am obsessed with this trend, is coloring your hair in like warm colors, like the dark red or like the, the fall color. Like I can't even, I don't even, I'm gonna show a picture of like the colors that I'm talking about, but these colors right here, okay? Any type of dark blonde or ashy blonde or like any warm colors look so great in the fall. Like this hair color right here is my favorite on women. Like I absolutely love seeing this color on women, okay? And all my black girls know that it is silk press season, okay? So color your hair, okay? My hair is definitely in a better, healthier condition than what it was like six, seven months ago. But I just don't think my hair is completely there yet for me to be coloring it. So I, I'm so jealous of the girls that can color their hair. Like, cause I wish, cause I would color my hair immediately for fall. Like I love when I see colored hair in the fall and it goes with the fall theme, so cute. Definitely is a do. My next do for fall or a fall trend that I absolutely love and I want to keep seeing is suede anything. Suede boots, suede jackets, I don't know, suede pants, I suede every thing, okay? I saw a lot of girls on TikTok talking about like suede jackets coming in, like with the like braiding and buttons on them or like the shingles coming off the jackets, like stuff like that. Like here's a couple pictures of like what I mean, just like suede. Suede is definitely in. Anything suede, anything brown suede, that is also something really specific I need to say. Any type of color of brown suede, definitely in. So timeless, so classy, absolutely gorgeous, okay? I love suede and I'm going to be looking for me this fall a suede bag, some more suede shoes, and a suede jacket, okay? Because those are like the trinity, holy trinity you need to have a successful wardrobe for fall, okay? So definitely that is a do and I wanna keep seeing that. Okay, third tip is warm scents and warm body butters. I know, girl, you like, what? Warm scents, Nicole? You don't like warm scents. You like floral and fruity and summery and fun. Yes, I know, and I still like them too, but I think my frontal lobe has developed and I don't wanna wear floral scents in the fall, okay? I wanna switch it up a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself, okay? I think these three scents that I have in my hand right here is what really convinced me to kind of switch it up a little bit. These are still very florally scents, okay? But they have like white musk in it, vanilla smells. I'm also starting to notice like just a little hint of vanilla is starting to grow on me a little bit. I know what is going on, what is going on, okay? So my first scent I wanna show you guys is this scent from Philosophy. This is like kind of like a body spray. This is called Summer Grace Solar Daydream, okay? Yes, does it have summer in the title? Yes, it is, but just stay with me, okay? This is such a pretty warm vanilla scent, but it's still florally at the same time. It's weird, but I love this scent, okay? Speaking of scents, I didn't even spray perfume on, but this is lovely. This is such a beautiful, versatile scent that I can see being worn in the summer and fall. Like, I like this one. Another one I like is by Rito. I don't know if I said that right, sorry. But this is Gypsy Water. This is another very versatile scent that could be worn in the summer and in the fall. <sighs> that smells amazing, okay? Really, really like this scent. And then we have the Lyra Mercier. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this perfume, okay? But this is another vanilla, very warm, white musk, woody scent. <sighs> that's very versatile that could be worn in the summer and the fall. Like I said, I think these three scents are like going in like my little fall category as well because these smell so good, like they really do. So I think that's why warm scents grow on me because I'm starting like to wear these a lot now. And for body butters, like 
any type of body butter to me. Like I am a body butter warrior in the fall and winter because my skin is like extremely dry. Like I know everyone's is. So body butters are my go-to in the fall and winter instead of lotions. And body butters I recommend are like Fenty has great body butters. O-C, O-O-S-E-A. I don't know, the brand. They have a really good body butter too. Uh, oh my goodness, Josie Martin has great body butters, okay, from Sephora, absolutely love them. So yes, body butters and warm scents are in this fall. Lotions and floral perfumes, put them on hold, okay? Put them on hold, find you a good perfume and body butter that is versatile, that not only smells summery, florally, but also smells warm, okay? Look at me maturing, I'm so proud of myself. To piggyback on my second point when I was saying like suede is in and like different types of brown suede is in, let's talk about what color is in this fall. Like I said, I saw a lot of people talking about this on TikTok, like what are the colors that are in? These colors aren't new, but these colors are like the epitome of like what fall is. Suede, and then we have burgundy and like a dark green, okay? Not any type of green because you can't do light, light green because that's a summer color, like a dark green. Yes, burgundy and dark green and suede are like the three colors, like I said, if you have in your wardrobe to match and match, you are good for fall. Like I love burgundy. Like I was saying with the silk presses and the coloring your hair, dyeing your hair burgundy and stuff like that, like absolutely gorgeous, okay? These are some of the looks of burgundy and green looks that I like that I'm trying to go for myself. But if you have been looking for like, what is the color of fall or like what your color is, I would say any shade of brown, burgundy and dark green. You keep it in that range, you're gonna be getting compliments every single day that you look good, okay? Cause those are my three colors that when I see that on somebody, I say, oh, she knows what she's doing, okay? She knows, she knows, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now let's talk about makeup, okay? It's kind of weird that I have this in like the dudes, but I feel like all of the big colory eye, I mean, if you love doing big colory eyeshadow, that's up to you, but I'm not doing pink blush in the fall, mm -mm, okay? I want a warm, orange or peach color, something very warm. I feel like orange or just like warm blushes look good on dark skin anyway. It looks really good on my skin, like warm colors. I'm not doing pink blush in the fall. I'm not doing crazy eyeshadow in the fall. Fall is where you like really accentuate the dark colors because you can't really do that in the summer. So like I said, burgundy, dark green outfits or any shades of brown, of suede. And then for makeup, we need to do like a dark smoky look, okay? All dark, not black eyeshadow, you know what I mean, but like smoky eyeshadow. What else do I have on here? Dark sultry eyes, soft beat, smoky eyes, like that is what fall is, okay? Very soft beat makeup with a beautiful smoky eye with some like beautiful black eyeliner. That is like my go-to. I mean, I've been doing that makeup look since summer, so I just do that makeup look all year. That's just like my signature, and that's the only makeup look I like on me anyway. But I feel like fall makeup is a thing and you have to keep it soft, keep it glammy, keep it soft, but let go of the color, okay? Get into some warm blushes, start playing with some warm eyeshadow, start playing with some warm lip combos. I am always such a pink lip combo type of girly and I'm really trying to get out of that pink lip combo and, and go with some warm colors, okay? So definitely try that out. That is definitely a do and something I want to see this fall. Okay, now let's get into the don'ts. Dun, dun. Like I said, don't beat me up. Call your mother. Anyway, the first don't is drum roll please. Brim hats. Brim hats have to go. I'm so sick of seeing the brim hats, okay? I'm sorry. This is really gonna hurt my millennials. In 2016, brim hats were the okay, in the fall. That was the hottest, trendy thing in the fall was brim hats. But no, I don't wanna see brim hats anymore. If you don't know what a brim hat is, like this is like some photos of like what a brim hat is. Like, no, mm -mm -mm -mm. pictures gotta go. We don't wanna see those hats anymore. An alternative you can do in like what the hats that are like in right now are the big fluffy hats. Here are some examples of like the big fluffy hats that are really trendy right now. A lot of people are wearing these kind of hats last year. Like these hats are in. I even have a photo of me in a hat like that. Like, let's put the brim hats down, okay? Like, let's say you don't like the furry hats. Maybe alter it into like a cowboy hat, like a subtle cowboy hat. That'd be really cute as well. Like, I'm also starting to see like cowboy aesthetic entire, like really, really 
transitioning into fall and becoming like an everyday thing. So, but yes, the brim hats have to go, okay? The millennials are gonna be mad at me. I'm a millennial myself. Don't beat me up, okay? This comes with love, all right? But brim hats, gotta go. Don't wanna see them this year, okay? Do not wanna see them this year. Okay, so the second don't is another old fall trend that the millennials might eat me up on, okay? But like I said, this stuff was hot back in 2016, but I sometimes still see girls stepping out in it. I'm like, no, okay? Plaited mm -hmm. fleeces. Okay, no, take the plaited fleeces off, okay? Everybody knows the era where the big scars with your plaited fleece, with your leggings and your tall boots was like in. 2016, 2015, that was the outfit and when you stepped out in the outfit, you was stepping, okay? But it is 2024, okay? If I see you stepping out with that plaited fleece on, I need you to go burn that plaited fleece that's in your closet. And you you guys, I have no room to talk either. I have a plaited fleece in my closet right now that I need to burn, okay? Like, look, we're all trying to catch up. It's okay, that's what this video is for, to help get you together. So throw those plaited fleeces away in the broom hats, okay? Third tip that I do not, fat fall trend that I do not wanna see anymore, mm -hmm. is Chelsea boots, they gotta go upgrade the boot, okay? The boot needs to be taller. I do not wanna see those stubby, short Chelsea boots anymore. Gotta go. For the men too, oh my gosh. The Chelsea boot had a chokehold on men all last year and the year before that, okay? No more Chelsea boots. Let's all get rid of them. Men, I don't know what you're gonna do without their Chelsea boots, but women, I know what you can do. Get you some knee-high boots, okay? Let's get some knee-high boots or let's get some mid knee-high boots, okay? Like, throw those Chelsea boots away. Target loves, Target has some cute shoes, okay? But I remember I always used to get my Chelsea boots from Target, because Target always has the nice Chelsea boots. But when you go to Target this year to shop for fall, do not pick up those Chelsea boots. Put them Chelsea boots back okay leave them leave them there okay that is such 2017 2018 2019 fashion no it's 2024 let's wrap it up my fourth don't that is a huge pet peeve of mine okay a huge 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 pet peeve of mine I cannot stand when I see this okay mm -hmm. open toe shoes in the fall now why you got your toes out and it's 50 degrees now don't get me wrong there are some shoes that are like suitable like if it's a whole covered shoe and it's just a little it's like a little out like a shoe like this with just a little bit of your toe out that's fine like there's nothing wrong with that but when you're wearing literally strapless heels like your foot is completely out strapless heels in in the fall no it doesn't go with the aesthetic. It doesn't go with it, okay? Closed toe shoes are in, and there are so many varieties of cute closed toe shoes. Save your open toe for the summer. Like, there's no even need to rush and wear your open toe shoes. Like, girl, if you don't take yourself to, to Walmart, Target, or somewhere cheap and get you some closed toe shoes so you don't have to wear them open toes and be cool, all right now, okay? Cause I'm so sick of seeing it, okay? Like, I'm so sick of seeing it. Like, I better not catch you outside with no open toe shoes. In the fall, are you crazy? No, 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 Okay, all right, all right. And my fifth don't of 2024 fashion trends I do not want to see anymore is the mm. motorcycle jacket. <gasps> Millennials, I know, oh. The motorcycle jacket was such a staple piece in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. Like that motorcycle jacket lived a very long time, but it's done. Okay, the motorcycle jackets have to go. If you don't know like what I'm talking about in a motorcycle jacket, this is kind of like what I'm talking about. I even have one in my closet that I bought last year that I never wore because last year I kind of got the gist from everybody like, okay, I don't think anybody is wearing motorcycle jackets anymore, okay? Like, I need to let that go, all right? And an alternative to like a really cute leather jacket is just like a regular leather jacket or a suede jacket like I was talking about. I used to stay in a motorcycle jacket in college, okay? That was like, a motorcycle jacket went with everything. Like, you could literally just throw on anything and throw on a motorcycle jacket with your long scarf and your Chelsea boots or your mid-high boots with your leggings and you look fly, okay? Like, I was the flyest girl in class, but no. Okay, motorcycle jackets has to go. I need to burn my plaid fleece and my motorcycle jacket, okay? Both of them are not coming in with me in 2024, okay? Like, no, throw them away, now. 
Those are my 10 do's and don'ts of 2024 fall trends that I do and do not want to see anymore, okay? Like I said, do not shoot the messenger, okay? You clicked on this video because you wanted me to help you get you together. And I did. I think I did a great job. I think the tips and advice that I gave you of things that are in and things that are out make sense. And I feel like everyone kind of agrees. And if you don't, it's okay. I still love you. I don't know if anybody else is gonna love you, but I will, okay? Like I said, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to comment down below if I did a good job or let me know your do's and don'ts of like what else I left out that you don't wanna see or you do wanna see, okay? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys next video. Bye.